Well, thank you. Good evening, everyone. Uh, Calispera. <laughs> All right. One for one. <laughs> I, I, want to, uh, I want to welcome uh, my guest, the Prime Minister of the Hellenic Republic, my friend, Prime Minister Mitsutaki. He's welcome. And his wife, Mareva. Where are they, Mareva? Good to see you again. Welcome. Uh, my, my friends, the Pences, the Vice President, Karen, welcome to you as well. Welcome to the State Department. And I also want to say thanks to the outgoing Greek ambassador to the United States, uh, Haris uh, Lalakos. Where's, where's he? There, right back there. Congratulations. Good to see you. Welcome. I want to thank all, all of our friends who are here tonight from the Greek American community. Uh, I had the great trip to go to Athens back in October. It seems like a long time ago. Uh, it was everything that the country is storied for. Uh, great beauty, warm people, uh, good friends. Uh, and everywhere that I could see powerful reminders of everything uh, that has Hellenic roots, like the democracy, the arts, and Christianity. Well, we saw people waving as we walked on a very warm day and drove through the streets adjoining the Plaka after we had a chance to visit the beautiful Athens Cathedral. Susan was with me. We had a wonderful breakfast with the Prime Minister and Mrs. Mitsotakis. Seeing the sun's first rays hit the Acropolis was really something quite special. And I was privileged, too, to speak from the top floor of the Nearchos Lighthouse. It was a beautiful building. For those of you who have not had the chance to see it, it is a true gem, uh, architectural gem, in a beautiful city and a beautiful building. It was, uh, it was truly stirring to me to be the very city where the roots of democracy were put down uh, more than two millennia ago, to contemplate how the noble ideas born in the Agora are the foundation of the American government. It was too inspiring when I talked with my Greek friends, the Greek founder, of course, was the confirmation of the great relationship between our two countries. It's been good. It is now fantastic. It is important. We're expanding our cooperation on energy, together growing friendships. We're supporting Greece as a pillar of the security in the eastern Mediterranean. Our militaries are working together more closely than ever before. Uh, Greece even hosted our troops for a Thanksgiving meal on one of your bases in 2018, and we thank you for that. Uh, I heard American and Greek soldiers mass plates on the ground that night in the traditional Greek style. Uh, uh, I was a young soldier too, I was breaking plates for different reasons. Uh, uh, we're not going to end the celebration tonight with that unless one of y'all brought the plates. Uh, and we're enthused about the work that the Prime Minister is doing, the reforms he's bringing to the Greek economy. We've seen in our country, uh, as our president has lowered taxes, put fewer regulations in place, created a great opportunity for risk takers and entrepreneurs to grow their businesses, what that means for every citizen of our country. I know that will happen in Greece as well. Think about the welcome turn of events. Uh, Greece is truly showing all of Europe the way forward on economic prosperity. That's truly remarkable, Mr. Prime Minister. As for the U.S. government, we'll keep uh, supporting you as a leader in Europe. We'll keep supporting your prosperity, your security, and your democracy. The future will only grow brighter for our countries and our relationship together. So if we could, a toast, please. Here we go. Right there, all right. There we go, yeah. <laughs> so please, 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 please join me in a toast, yeah. <laughs> I think that was my ambassador who said the whole thing, yeah. Uh, please join me in a toast, uh, uh, honoring the Prime Minister and Mrs. Mitsotakis and to our Greek friends and our future together. Yamas. I chose our Californian white to reciprocate the favor. <laughs> Would you join me in thanking the Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, for he and his wife's wonderful hospitality here at the State Department. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Uh, to uh, uh, Mr. Prime Minister Mitsotakis, your wonderful bride, distinguished members of Congress who are joining us here today, uh, to Am Ambassador uh, Harris Lalakos, 
and most especially on behalf of my wife Karen and I, who have come to love the Greek American community, welcome to all the great Greek Americans who join us here tonight. But uh, Prime Minister Mitsotakis, it is a great honor to be a part of uh, America's welcome. Uh, welcoming you back to the United States to celebrate the uh, unbreakable bonds uh, between our country, bonds that have been forged in history and heritage, uh, bonds uh, built on a shared love of freedom, and, uh, and bonds built between families, uh, Greek families that came to this country and uh, from the very founding of this nation have contributed immeasurably to the life of this nation and still represent the core of of, uh, of what binds us together. Uh, as the Secretary just reflected, as the President reflected in the Oval Office with you today, I am proud to report firsthand that thanks to your leadership and the leadership of President Donald Trump, the bonds between the United States of America and Greece have never been stronger. Last year alone, our two nations engaged in nearly $3 billion in trade. Uh, but it's not economic exchange that defines us. It's really a shared philosophy of government. I saw the energy between you and President Trump yesterday in the Oval Office. I saw the friendship uh, between you. Uh, and I also saw the common purpose, uh, as Secretary Pompeo just reflected, in, in President Trump and in you, uh, Prime Minister uh, Mitsotakis, uh, there are two leaders who believe that uh, when you let people keep more of what they earn, when you roll back red tape, when you make government more efficient, and you uh, drive low-cost energy, making it available to job creators, economies prosper, and America and Greece are prospering, thanks to your leadership and the leadership of President Donald Trump. Uh, our economy is booming. Unemployment in the United States is at a 50-year low. More Americans are working than ever before. And under your leadership, at a time of slow growth around the world, the unemployment rate in Greece is at its lowest level in more than eight years. And we congratulate you, Mr. Prime Minister. I can't help but reflect in this historic building about the ties that have always bound our two nations. The founding fathers of our country recognized uh, uh, that Americans would be heirs of the achievements of Greek civilization. We would carry the ideals of love for freedom and democracy here. Uh, it was on a hill in Athens that the world's first democratic assemblies were gathered more than 2,500 years ago. And while the secretary talked about his vacation travels last fall, I can tell you that before I got this job, Mrs. Pence and I traveled to Athens, spent some time on the Acropolis, and had a lot less company than I have <laughs> these days. But we loved being in Greece, and I look forward to the day that I'm able to return. It's amazing from that historic past, so carefully cherished and preserved by the Greek people, that. Um, uh, uh, two millennia later, a tiny alliance of people on a distant coast rose up against the world's strongest empire. To no, no less extent, they were inspired by the way the Greek people had led a small alliance of cities to stand up for freedom against impossible odds on the plains of Marathon and at the narrow uh, pass of Thermopylae. They spoke of it. They wrote about it. Our founding fathers cherished it. Thomas Jefferson would say, quote, to the ancient Greeks, we are all indebted for the light which led us out of darkness. And in 1821, when it came time for Greeks to fight for their independence against the odds once again, they inspired freedom-loving people around the world, including here in America. It's no small wonder that a great champion of human freedom my second favorite president, Ronald Reagan, 
began the tradition of celebrating Greek Independence Day in the White House, and I'm proud to say that President Donald Trump has continued that tradition for the past three years, and so we always shall. Our nations share an incredible history, but it really is obvious to me, particularly being in the Oval Office yesterday, uh, seeing the connection between you and President Trump, two energetic leaders with a, a conviction and a belief in freedom and a drive to be able to put it into practice to improve people's lives, that the best is yet to come. So on behalf of the American people, in celebration of the economic partnerships, the military partnerships, and the deep heritage between our two nations, uh, allow me to join, a, join with all of you to raise a glass. Raise a glass. I'll drop the uso now. Yeah. <laughs> I wondered what that was. Let me raise a glass. <laughs> <To pro laughs> now I know your preference. Um, Raise a glass to Prime Minister Mitsotakis, to his uh, wonderful wife, uh, to the people of Greece, to Greek Americans, and to the enduring friendship between the United States of America and Greece. Yamos. And now would you all join me in welcoming Prime Minister Kyriakos Mitsotakis to the United States of America and the Department of State. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Vice President Pence, uh, Secretary of State Pompeo. Ladies and gentlemen, what a wonderful welcome. I'm deeply uh, honored for this beautiful reception uh, and all the kind words you offered uh, us. Uh, my wife, Mareva, and myself had, uh, you know, 72 fantastic hours uh, in the United States. We started uh, uh, with uh, a beautiful trip to Florida to Tarpon Springs, where we saw firsthand how strong the Greek-American community is. There you go. And uh, we had two very productive days uh, of meetings uh, in Washington uh, at, uh, at the White House uh, uh, on the Hill with uh, American think tanks engaging with you, potential investors, um, the Greek-American community. Uh, you're absolutely right, Mr. Vice President, Secretary. Uh, this relationship was never stronger. I am very proud to be leading Greece uh, in these historic times for our bilateral relations, uh, a relationship that can only go from strength to strength. And we had a chance during these two days um, to talk about uh, a whole lot of uh, uh, issues, starting from the geopolitical situation uh, in our region, the challenges that we face, uh, I was very glad uh, um, to hear you reaffirming what should be a very obvious fact that Greece was, is, and will relay, remain the most reliable ally that the United States will have in this part of the world. And we're convinced. We're convinced that the United States will stand by Greece when it fights uh, for its uh, rights, when it protects uh, our own sovereign rights, uh, but it will al also stand by us as we look into the future, uh, as we focus on economic growth, uh, creating prosperity uh, for all Greeks. Mr. Vice President, you're right to point out that when you cut taxes, uh, when you cut uh, red tape, when you deregulate, when you let entrepreneurship flourish, very good things happen to an economy. Uh, it's the same, um, uh, it happened here, it's also happening in Greece, and uh, the Greek economy will grow from strength to strength, and we invite uh, American investors to take part uh, in this new chapter uh, for our country. But this is also a story about uh, shared values. 
you're right to point out that the founding fathers were very much uh, inspired by the values of classical Greece, uh, of Athenian democracy. And uh, as we uh, enter 2020, one should remember that this is also uh, an important date as we are celebrating 2,500 years uh, from the historic battles of Thermopylae and Salamis, the battles that essentially allowed free Greece to flourish and create the classical civilization which served as a basis of inspiration for the entire world. But the Greek founding fathers uh, of the Greek War of Independence, the Greek Revolution, were also inspired by the American Revolution uh, and uh, took faith in what happened in the United States 40 years earlier. And next year is also a monumental date for Greece as we will be celebrating 200 years since the beginning uh, of the Greek Revolution. A story of courage, a story of freedom, uh, a story of uh, uh, a small um, um, uh, a people who rose uh, in one corner of the Ottoman Empire to establish uh, the first free uh, and independent state uh, in this part of the world. And during those uh, 200 years, our country has gone through many adventures. We've faced uh, um, uh, um, uh, catas uh, catastrophes, uh, catastrophes and triumphs, uh, uh, but hopefully we are now ready uh, to write uh, a new chapter in our history. And uh, as we enter the third decade of the 21st century, I'm sure this is going to be a decade of prosperity and of great success uh, for my country. So uh, I would like once more to thank you uh, for your kind hospitality, uh, to thank everyone who's attending this beautiful reception uh, in this uh, historic uh, uh, building. And uh, let me add uh, one more toast, um, <laughs> again with Uzo, um, to this uh, most uh, enduring uh, an important uh, strategic friendship between Greece and the United States. Yamas ke kali khronya. Mr. Prime Minister, thank you for those kind words. Mr. Vice President, thank you too for being here. Uh, no more toasts. I've got work left to do tonight. <laughs> But I wanted to thank you all so much for being here. This is very special for the State Department to be able to host. My, my instructions here say that I'm supposed to encourage you to have a good time. I think you all got that figured out. <laughs> so welcome. Uh, please enjoy. And, and may God bless the United States and Greece and our wonderful relationship. Thank you.